Hey guys, today we'll shoot the LPV approach into Flagler Beach Airport. The LPV approach is a GPS based approach. The LPV stands for localizer performance with vertical guidance. This approach does use a DA and can replace a precision approach during a practical test if the minimums are lower than 300 feet AGL. It is not considered a precision approach though. To get started, we'll load the approach into the G1000. Our initial approach fix is going to be Quebec. If we open the plate, we can see that it supports WAS, which is why we're able to perform an LPV approach for this runway. Final approach course is going to be 060, and we'll have 5,000 feet of runway available. As for the notes, nothing relevant for us in this approach. As we look on the lateral graphical information, the approach is a straight in, fed by a course reversal hold at Quebec. Once we start the approach, we'll fly to Jabku, which is our final approach fix, and then proceed to the DA. Looking at the vertical layout of the approach, we need to cross Quebec between 2300 and 6000, and then we can descend to 1600 to Jabku. Our DA will be 312 feet MSL, and we need 7 8 of a mile for visibility. The VDP, or visual descent point, is one mile away from the runway, which is an advisory point letting us know that if we see the runway a mile away, we can continue the stabilized 3% glide path towards the runway. And in no means is it the DA or missed approach point in any of the approaches that this plate supports. The missed approach procedure will have us climb straight ahead to 2300 feet to Gakde and hold there. As we cross Jabku, we are going to reduce power to 1900 RPM, flaps 10, and maintain 90 knots on the approach. Also, we will lower the altitude bug to the minimum's altitude. From this phase, we are focused on flying the LPV indications while expecting the minimum's altitude and once in a while looking outside and trying to see the runway. The LPV lateral guidance acts just like a localizer. As you get closer to the runway, the sensitivity increases and a full deflection just over the runway is the same as you would get on a localizer, which is 350 feet on each side. The reason you have a DA in this approach is that the glide path was approved by the FAA, and it's not just the G1000 creating its own descent profile for the approach. As we get closer to the DA, we want to look a bit more outside the cockpit to try to see the runway. 
we should be ready to take the go-no-go -go decision as we get close to the DA. Once we have the runway in sight, the approach switches to a visual landing, idle the power, reduce flaps 30, below 85 knots, and touch down safely. That was the LPV approach, see you guys next time.